I avoid the basement at all costs. I don't like looking at it. Look what they covered up. We were quite upset with the home inspector and that he missed such an obvious problem with the home. This used to be wood, and I can actually put my finger through it now. They want the answers, but sometimes the truth is the scariest thing of all. Everything that we've checked into on this house has always led to something else. And look at that. It's, it's rotting. Yeah. Talk about an illusion, man. I'm angry right now. I'm very, very, very angry. What a nightmare. This is a freaking nightmare. Kevin and Gail fell hard for this house. They were smart. They brought in a home inspector to do a proper home inspection before they buy. They wanted to buy a house that was renovated so they didn't have to do work. As a matter of fact, 10 different families bid on this house. They were thinking the same thing. I get it. People see that and they want to move in. My point is, was it done right? As far as I'm concerned, it is the home inspector's job to give the homeowners the right advice to tell them, buy this house, it's good. Run like hell, it's not good. Guess what? There is a problem. I'm here to do a homes inspection, and I'm going to make it right. It's taking a while for us to find the ideal home, because he had certain standards that he wanted, and I had certain standards. And actually, when we found this house, it was a combination of what we both wanted, which is great. My daughter, she's 14 years old, um, very independent. One of the reasons we um, like this house so much, it's two minutes away from her new high school. We wanted it to give her a bigger space. We thought she deserved that. I love the fact that it was located downtown. I love the new hardwood floors, the new stainless steel appliances. I love the fact that it was renovated. The initial open house when we came to see this house, it was like a shopping mall. So it was surreal. When I first laid eyes on this place, I was pretty impressed. It looked perfect to us. Our real estate agent told us before we make an offer to get an inspection. We walked through the house with him, and I mean, he seemed pretty knowledgeable. He um, pointed out very few things that we might need to fix in the future with the house, but all in all, he pretty much said it was a sound house. We went in guns blazing, believing that this is the, the top house, and we paid top dollar for it, on his word. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to be Kevin. Pleasure to meet you. Nice neighborhood. A little cool, but it's, I can feel the heat here. That's good. <laughs> yeah. We initially came into this house expecting to furnish it a certain way, make it into a home, and unfortunately, our money that we were going to take to make this house into a home is now going to additional renovations, to fixing up problems that were here and should have been pointed out to us before we purchased the house. And I have to start with this. Mm -hmm. It's the best report I've read to date. You took pictures. Right. You documented each picture he took. You made comments. Unfortunately, <laughs> there was things missed. Yes. Yes. Like yes. Termites. My daughter actually mentioned she thought it was a caterpillar hanging from the ceiling and told Kevin about it. It just looked like a spike of mud coming through the ceiling. I touched it. It fell to the chair below, and um, the dirt turned into creepy crawlies. Scared the life out of me. You did have it checked. Yep. Right, so we brought in, I think, Orkin? Orkin. OK, That's and right. they did a full inspection. Full inspection. Mm -hmm and they've determined that it's in the basement area only? The basement area into the back where the extension is in the house. Yeah. Why don't we take a walk downstairs? Sure. sure. And uh, we'll take it from there. Within half an hour, that spike had reappeared. It was like something out of a horror movie. When the termite inspector showed up, he was great. He took us around the house and showed us actually evidence of termites that our house inspector should have noticed. He missed the damage on the door. He missed the mud tunnel on the back of the house by the staircase. I mean, me, I'm, I'm not an inspector, but after a little bit of research, I know what it is. He also missed all the soil to wood contacts on the side of the house, and that's a 
clear indicator that you might have a problem. Okay, we've taken a look at all kinds of various Look at that. Well, oh, I might cool. as well take a look at it. Okay. Great example. This was done not too long ago, all this work. Look what they covered up, okay? I'm seeing rotten stuff, I'm seeing concrete, I'm seeing wood, that's wood, touching earth. Wood touching earth brings in termites. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. Look at all that on the bottom of that wood right there. You see the trails? That's termites. See that vertical piece of two by four? Not the new one, the old one that's been painted. It's all eaten apart by the termites that have gotten into the wood. Termites come from the ground, up through the wood, and come in contact to your house. Wood is touching soil, they have their way of getting in. And once they get in, that's when, much like animals of any type of critters, can do damage. Right. Lots of damage. I avoid the basement at all costs. I don't like looking at it. I don't like, I don't like bugs at all. And being around that environment, I, the only reason I go down in the basement is pretty much to do laundry, and that's about it. Unfortunately, I'm the guy that's coming in afterwards, and I'm doing an inspection. But it's not like uh, a standard home inspection. We call it a homes inspection. Because now I'm going to look. I'm going to cut holes. I'm going to have people come in. I'm going to verify everything. OK, you see that right there on the camera? I'm about to get in there. There it is. That is a trail of termites. The inspector, look at their jobs to come in and see what they can see, right? And if it's all closed in, they can't see it. Good report. Not enough experience. So how does he know to look for termites? Well, that's easy. When wood touches earth, the odds of termites coming in are big. Now we're going to take it all apart. There we go again. Look at this damage. Like these joists are getting eaten. This is nuts. Look at that. That's how much they've eaten through. When we bought this house, we paid the additional money, thinking that we wouldn't have to put anything extra into the house, like all the renovations were done. Our fears with Mike's inspection is that he's going to find a whole heap of stuff that everybody's missed, and that our home will be exposed to the garbage and fancy wrapping paper. Now, if you notice, your handles are really made for short people. Yes, Did you notice I think. that? <laughs> uh, what happens is, is when we're trying to finish a basement and they come in and people don't know what they're doing. This is a fast fit door. It's a hollow core door. Right. Yes. The handle was probably a preset. Right. Okay, so they came in and cut the bottom right off. Oh, I see. Wrong doors installed, that's the point. So when I see the little things that are done, then I worry about the bigger things. The home inspector said there's a substance that might be asbestos wrap, I believe is the way he worded it in the report. He said eventually in the future, a few years from now, it would cost a few thousand to get rid of it, and we were fine with that. I read in the report there was tape wrapped around the pipe, yes. right? Yes. This is what I call a cover-up. Mm. I'm pretty damn sure, and I'm right, what they did was they taped up the asbestos. Oh. Because right? I can see right through here, and I can see the asbestos. And it's been messed with. All right, so there's one problem right there that is a big problem. The initial problem that I noticed was the flooding in the basement and the sewage that was backed up. Actually, it was raining pretty hard that day. I immediately got up and noticed that the drain was overflowing in the middle of the basement. Went to the bathroom, and the shower stall started overflowing, and it looked like sewage coming out of the drain. I had no idea what was going on. Smelling that, I mean, pretty nasty. Needless to say, we started panicking. I called my handy father. He advised me to pull the downspout out of the ground, and it seemed to stop the initial flooding. It kind of burst our bubble pretty quickly. In the report, oddly enough, for one of the best reports I've ever read, oddly enough, it said the downspouts are into the house system, no comment. He wrote no comment mm -hmm. on, on, I guess, what to do with it, because he didn't, because he said he couldn't see it. Well, I see the downspouts down there. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, it can and will damage your foundation. Take it out, and everyone should be doing that. Now, now that you pulled this out, look at the moisture that's coming in this area, right? And look at this line here. 
this tells me you're gonna have water penetrate that point to the foundation on the inside, which now concerns me with possibilities of mold. And I'm gonna tell you, you know, you need to seal all this. Cracks like this right here, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get my tools, I'm gonna go through the house, I'm gonna see what I find, because I got a bad feeling. I'm gonna right. bring it back, I'm gonna tell you what I found, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do to fix it. Thank you very much. And you. we will make it right. Thank you so Thank you. much. Keep smiling. When Mike said he had a bad feeling about this inspection, I had an even worse feeling, because to be honest with you, everything that we've checked into on this house has always led to something else. It's just a chain reaction that I'm yet seeing end at any one point. It just keeps on going. One thing I didn't see in the report. What's the height of this bottom step to here? That's approximately five inches. From here to here is approximately seven and continues. So all the height of the riser is correct, except for the bottom one. The other issues that I see is I know for a fact that this addition did not have stairs before. 1952, we had checked. So somebody years ago has used this as a, a residential unit. The stairs are in pretty rough shape. Who cuts a throat? That shallow right here, that's what we call the throat. That's not a lot of space to take weight load against the stairs, and that's why they've had to add in extra supports throughout to hold it. Personally, what I'd like to do is take them off. The home inspector had a great camera, and he should have taken a picture of that. Trying to solve all this is not going to be easy because we have a wood cladding on the outside of this. There's not a lot of space here. And the wood cladding on the outside, that is down to grade. When wood touches earth, the odds of termites coming in are big. And we look at the door. It's a little short. We know that. It's just the way it was done. Now, is this moisture, or is this termites? Or is it both? It is falling apart. It is both. I didn't see a picture of this in the report. Hello? Mr. Bennett. You ever heard the saying, here we go again? Yeah. OK, so the plumbing in the floor, it backed up in the shower. I can see it's an inch and a quarter line coming straight up yeah. with a three inch uh, excussion plate on the yeah. top. I know the drain's wrong. Come here, look at this. That is asbestos, and it's sitting, it's wrecked, it's pulled down, it's knocked down, and it's sitting on top of the bulkhead here. So now I'm kind of really worried. I don't want you guys touching this. OK. Let's, let's bring in Alliance. I want them to remove it, and I want Pynchon in here to make sure that there's no spores in the air for my team yeah. for okay. when we come in. Absolutely. OK, so let them do it. I don't, give, I don't care if they wreck this place, because we're going to. Right. Then you can come in. You can take the rest down. You want to take this down all of this? You're gutting it. And why is that? We have termites. Let me show you. We got termites down here. Let's take a look in this hole. Now, see how the wood, uh, straight ahead on the other end, we see a vertical 2 by 4 that's new and a vertical 2 by 4 that's beside it. Oh, yeah. It's painted. And it's been eaten by termites. You see that? Yeah. So, you know, um, we're going to learn a lot more about termites. One thing's for sure is that we have it. And uh, what we're going to learn is how to get rid of them. Yeah. So there's a chance, a small chance, they could just be located down here right now. Uh, uh, my hope is they're only right here. Yeah, mine too. But they're here. Yeah. More than likely here. Yeah. More than likely here. They're there. It's like us living in a giant cheeseburger. We're going to eat our way out. I, I kind of like that idea, to be <laughs> honest with you. Yeah. It's like a cheeseburger island. I'm in. So here we are again. I'm in a beautiful house, but a house with a lot of problems, a lot of issues. First of all, we have asbestos in the ceiling. I have Alliance Environmental here today enclosing the whole room because we have to get it remediated. And then we can start dealing with the other issues. First things first. Basically, asbestos is, uh, is fine as long as you leave it alone. 
Uh, in the absence of disturbance, there's really no hazard associated with the presence of asbestos building materials within your house. If you're doing some kind of work, whether it be renovation work, maintenance work, those kinds of things where you're going to be disturbing other building materials, you may impact the asbestos, and then once it's disturbed, it can create a problem. There are three major diseases associated with the inhalation of asbestos, asbestosis, um, lung cancer, and mesothelioma. That is the main concern with asbestos, is inhaling the asbestos fibers. Today, uh, there are less incidents of asbestos, but it is still, according to statistics, uh, one of the leading causes of death in the construction industry. The asbestos is now fully remediated, and we've been given a clean bill of health on the house. At this point, I can now get rid of the termites and fix the damage they've done. Hey, Cliff. Oh, this is probably my second time in here. Yeah, you were here on the initial, and you confirmed that there was termites down here, correct? Correct. Yeah. So, we are going to demo this basement. How bad is it down here? No termites, way. doesn't matter if you see one tunnel or if you see a hundred tunnels. It's bad. Now, that is a damaged piece of wood. Certainly, yeah. This is destroyed. And that's what you're looking at when termites come in. This is termite damage right away. Oh, there they are. Look at that. Ready? Oh, my yep. God. See the termites. Look at that. See them traveling back and forth there? That is incredible. There's a live one. Nice big one for you right here. Look at that. And just for a little tiny termite like that, they can cause so much damage. It's right. unreal. They're traveling through that soil all the time looking for wood. And if that wood is in the soil itself, they're going to smack dab right into that wood. If that wood is uh, basically attached to your home, you're going to have a lot of damage in your home. Now, though, my crew is worried about bringing these home with them. They're no not worries. going to do any damage. No worries about them getting them on the clothes, bringing them home, None whatsoever. eating their own homes? No, no. Because once they the contact world. light, you can pretty much say the termite is gone. Is that right? Yeah, because they're full of moisture. Yeah. Their body is like 80, 85% moisture, and they need that to survive. Well, with termites, we actually look for tunneling in the walls, tunneling in the baseboards, any of the facings on the windows, uh, any penetration through the walls, things like that. And what we're looking for is tunneling. They're called mud tubes. Mud tubes are uh, tunnels that the termites will actually hide inside of. Oh, this is a clear t uh, sign of uh, a termite tunnel, an old termite tunnel. It was scraped off. So uh, by looking at this, I can see that the tunneling is coming down towards this piece of two by four. The termites will actually bring it up through the earth, and they will make a tunnel all the way through the walls. Uh, it's more like a protection for them. They need moisture inside the tunnels and protects them from any bugs whatsoever. They can actually destroy the wood and leave the mud there behind. Yeah, it's clearly termite damage here. So they, uh, they ate this and went back down. See? This could be soil underneath here. Perfect way for termites to come through. So the inspector should have noticed this as well. So he should have had a bug inspector in. What we'll do is we'll drill holes into the floor, all the way around the house, interior perimeter and the exterior as well. And what we'll do is we'll put a chemical in each hole. The colony is on the outside, and we put a chemical barrier around the outside. What's going to happen is the termites that's still inside, they won't be able to get back on the outside. So what will happen is they're going to start dying off. Hey, man. Yes, sir. May I have some answers for you? The, this this condition is it's just so poor, my camera won't even go through it, so. Well, uh, I see mud. What is this on the side? Is that is that earth? What is this? This is, this is, this is debris and sediment that, oh, that build up. Yeah. Uh, so it, it just indicates that there, there must have been some backups in the past. Obviously, it was not rectified. And, so uh, what does this mean exactly? Does that mean I got to dig up this floor now? Yeah, this floor then needs to be repaired. Uh, because even though we don't have a downspot connected into the ground anymore, you need to have a floor drain that's in a good operating condition. This floor drain needs to be repaired. Uh, I do have a concerns with that stack. Um, obviously, where cast iron meets clay, yeah. I've, seen, I've seen cracks on the camera. So 
again, you know, if we're going to be excavating this area, we're not too far from there. I would like to address that as well. Um, plus, sorry to be breaking the bad news. Okay. <laughs> we have another stock right behind us. Yeah. And, and uh, clear signs of aging. Oh, look at that cracks. crack. And obviously no clean out, so I cannot even inspect this line properly. Has this been leaking? This has been leaking, yeah, for a while. Plumbing is actually quite intensive here. I need to talk to Mike. No Give problem. me a couple of days, buddy. No problem. Well, this confirms my uh, one of my worst fears is that we have termites within the joists. You can see they've actually eaten into the joists here. I don't know if it's too bad right there, but if they're there, where else are they? Oh my God. Look at this damage. These joists are getting eaten. This is nuts. That is deadly. Look at that. That's how much they've eaten through. A two by eight. Like no, it's a two by four. Not even now. Let me see what's behind door number two. Oh, you got it. Joke. This is nuts. Look what's behind here. Look at that. Through my damage. Through the lath. How far does this go? What's bothering me the most, well, look what they've hit. They've hit framing after framing, scab after scab, pieces of plywood, pieces of old siding, scabbed on, over termite damage. Everything has been covered over here to sell this damn house. What does that leave them with? These are the first time home buyers buying a house with a child. He cut a lot of corners to sell the house to make it look pretty. Holy sh! Oh, don't do that. No, 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 no. That's earth, buddy. That's yeah. earth, OK? Yeah. You know what this means? What's this foundation sitting on? Nothing. I'm more than disgusted. This is It's really bad. There's my outside sheeting. They're buying outdoor siding filled with termites, water damage, possibly mold. And what is this? This is where the earth is. This is where grade is. This is what my structure sits on. This is earth coming into the house. It was a matter of time before this whole side would have come in from water hitting it. This was going to fail eventually at their cost. There's so many issues in this one little area. I'm afraid to tear down anything else. I'm really afraid of what to tell them. Not only is it going to bury us, but it's going to bury the homeowners eventually. It's upsetting for everybody. Carlito, move that floor a bit, please. Oh, yeah. OK, not too much more, bud. That's good. I can see right in the bathroom, and I can actually see you. This is Earth. This is what they've done to Earth. They've spray foamed over it. This is the access. This is the highway to let the termites in. I guarantee it. Who does this? Uh, no one that I would ever meet or know. Like, how do you cover this up? That's what You're I a contractor. Know, you come in, you say, yeah. OK, you got problems here. I really think this was a flip on this house. I think the guy that owned this house, we think it was a rooming house before due to the neighbors uh, saying that it was. I think he just tore everything out, covered it with spray foam, just covered everything over, sold the house, did a complete fast finish on this place. You're calling it a flip. And got out of Dodge. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Wow. What an illusion for these homeowners. 10 bids on the house. Yep. They get there the was a, highest. A bidding war on this place. Yeah, bidding war. Believe it. Yeah, the only war I'd be giving is like a civil war. Yeah. I'm not buying it. No. Let's grab the homeowners. Let's bring them down. Let's tell them about it. Oh my God, they're not ready for this. I don't think anyone's ready for this. Let's hope they survive it. Now watch your head. Oh, yeah. wow. In your hand. Step, step. Take your time. Watch nails, wow. watch everything. All right. You can see how far we've gone. This has uh, become a, a structural issue, plumbing issue, uh, major, major, major issues. The house is a lemon. This is way worse than any one of us thought, including myself. 
When Mike said, I bought a lemon, I felt like somebody punched me in my stomach. Just actually there's a few fears when you're buying a house, and I think we've encountered all of them, yeah. every last one of them. So all your drains in the floor, everything needs to be replaced, all plumbing in the floor. We need to do an interior weeping system, which I don't like doing, but we don't have a choice because we cannot get to the outside of this wall. Now, this is a great example is if you're going to finish your basement, start by gutting it, readdress the issues, the plumbing. It's an old house. Change the plumbing. Because you don't want to go and finish the floor, tiles, bathroom, walls, and then something happens when you're sitting on the couch and it backs up. That's because they didn't address that. And here's how foolish these people were. There was asbestos in the house. They didn't mind disrupting it, playing with it. They did all this work around. They probably all breathed it in. Didn't even care. Cover it up, cover it up. Spray it, cover it up, cover it up. Sell it. And we brought in a team of specialists to remove all the asbestos that was all around the pipes. We have no vent, no air behind water, so all the plumbing we see here, wrong, totally incorrect. And this is nothing. This is the small stuff to me. Let's look at the structure. I'm angry right now. I'm very, very, very angry. I um, feel like we've been taken advantage of. You see this wall here? This is the wall that divides your two houses. What's it sitting on? Nothing, it seems, right now. It's completely rotted out. It's why the termites come in. Wood does not touch earth. It's sitting on earth. Termites get in, they go through it, they rot away. You can see this one's completely eaten out here, and I don't even want to touch it. What's holding all this up? And you have a bathroom up there. You have a toilet, you have a sink approximately right here. This two by four here, which is almost hollow, which means it's rotting away, is holding up this one floor joist. So I'm really surprised that no one's dropped from the bathroom upstairs to the basement downstairs. That's how bad the structure is. So here's for sure, you're going to lose this bathroom. Absolutely for sure. Why? I need the space to come down the stairs, create a turn down, and stairs, which means I lose all of this because we need head clearance. I have codes, I have to meet codes. The bathroom on the main floor is a major reason why we purchased the house. Just when we're entertaining, it's just easier to have bathroom right there and it's shocking that our safety was at risk with there being no support under the bathroom. It's scary. I need to pull all this out to rebuild all this wall and I'm gonna have to do it from the inside. Build in a block wall on top of it to create a benching system to help your neighbor from falling into your house because they're only eight inches on the other side of this. We'll call this a little bit of a smorgasbord of termites, contractors, homeowners, one of them, all of the above, that's for sure, contaminated the home. The good news is, is we'll have all this documentation so that when you sell the house, you don't sell a piece of crap to the next people, OK? Sorry. It's OK, Mike, thank you. It's a good thing we're here. Yes, definitely. Very good thing. Yeah, thank you Because you were on your couch and you saw a leak. Who knew? <laughs> you want to get a drink? Uh, something very strong. OK. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you on that. We paid what we thought it was worth. Now we're finding out that, um, it's not that beautiful. And there's a lot of things around with this house, and it's not worth anything close to what we paid for it. It's just bad. This room is going to shrink significantly when we take out those floor joists downstairs. The only way to get to this wall, this is my outside wall that is basically has dirt coming into it in the basement right now. So what do I have to do? I have to take down this wall. We see here is a wire in the ceiling. So Damon sends me in here, tells me to, to tear this ceiling down. Here I got a wick hammer. I start taking all the plaster and lath off, and I almost hit a power line that's hidden right underneath a skim. I could have put this right, this claw right through here. This should have been within the joist area. Instead, this guy just put it up against the ceiling, laminated a piece of drywall against it, skimmed over top of it. He didn't care about anyone here. God. We have termites up this whole wall. Oh my God, that used to be wood. Houston, we have a problem. 
this bathroom is actually infested or was infested with termites. Now I'm seeing a lot of damage. At once, this used to be wood, and I can actually put my finger through it now. That used to be lath, so that is severe damage. The Tasmanian devil of bugs, they'll eat through plastic, they'll eat through wood, they'll eat through plaster. These things do more damage than we do. One little insect. This bathroom was coming down. If it wasn't for termite damage, we probably never would have found this. We were dealing with a basement issue. And this is as bad as it gets. One, two, three. We have not seen a live termite since Orkin has sprayed. It's a major bonus. That means the stuff is doing its job. This is gonna be a real headache for a lot of people. It's gonna be a headache for the Bowens. It's gonna be a headache for Martin, the plumbing. Everyone has to work on top of each other in order to get this job done and we can get to a stage where we can actually stagger the trades at some point. We're at the front of the house. Um, this is my main line, which uh, which exits the building. I've installed main line back water valve. Um, it simply works as a one-way valve, allowing any water in the sewage to be discharged freely uh, out of the house. But in case if there's a backup happening from the outside, that water will come back to this point, and then this one-way valve will actually close, and the gate will stay closed as long as the pressure is being applied to it. So protecting, obviously, the house and the content from any, any sewer contamination and, and, and the property damage. Water was saturating through this entire foundation. If the water continues to penetrate through this foundation and we don't manage it, eventually this wall will start moving in. As this wall moves in, the joists move down and they'll feel the trickle effects through the main floor and the second floor of the house. A house this age wouldn't have a weeping tile system on the outside, very unlikely. And after some excavation, it was determined that there was no weeping tile system around the perimeter. So our only option is to go in the interior with this house. The adjacent structure is about a foot away. There is no room to excavate and install on the exterior. We're gonna run that weeping tile into a sump box and we're gonna discharge the sump box outside. Well, you know it's a good day when you have a site full of masons So we're ready to actually start building that wall. Tim's here with a couple of apprentices from a local school, and he's ready to knock that off for us. There's always demand for masons. Obviously, the economy goes up and down. But uh, uh, by and large, when everything is chugging along the way it's supposed to, there are not enough masons to go around. So uh, we need to keep training if we're going to keep up uh, with, with that. Probably going back 50 to 60 years ago, you would use brick, uh, and they would do it in two or three layers on a house. And that was a, a, a good structural way. But block obviously has a bigger surface on it. It's going to go up quicker. It's uh, probably, in the long run, a little more durable. The block is, is being your structural, also sound, fire resistance, to give you everything you want in the wall. Is our uh, premium mix. It's very high flowable, virtually self placed and self leveling. It's very easy to work with, does not require any experience to, to place it. We put fiber in it today. It's a little bit extra bonus for, for today's pour. It'll help us with uh, shrinkage, it'll help us with cracking issues down the road. Uh, just tightens it up a little bit, gives us a little bit extra flexural strength. So I thought I was being smart by using garbage bags and tuck tape, but I now have new boots, concrete reinforced. Not so smart after all. There's not really much holding this thing up, is there? There it goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, walk it down. Good panic. Hey, bud, how you doing? 
Well, I knew it was gonna come down easy. You could probably just push it out. Have <laughs> you tried? Good. You knock off the bottom there, pull off the brown piece off the wall, two by four, and yeah. just get a couple guys with rope and pull it back. That sounds like a bit more fun. Ready? Yeah. There you go. See what happens when it's done, Ron? Yeah. How am I supposed to get down now? <laughs> Close the door. Well, this is what I really like to see is some progress. We have a nice level concrete floor with no cracks. It's a very nice job. And the guys have been really busy with our framing here. We have most of this basement framed at this point, which is great. I like to call this the last line of defense for our termite issue here. This product is called Blue Wood. It has an insect repellent in it. It has a water resistance to it and a mold resistance to it. It's a great product. A lot of trades happening today, electrical, plumbing, and HVAC. I need my electricians to actually start running my plugs, getting wiring to all the rooms. I need my plumbers to start roughing in my bathroom. I have to get the boiler in today with Gary. It's a really big day. We want to finally get some heat in this house that's not a temporary heating solution. The reason we have to use wood on this window, Damon, is Structural windows are up to a certain size. We right. Use a, it comes with steel inside. Yeah. Anything beyond that size, we have to put a lintel. That's right, so, in which we could not do a lintel exactly. here. We have archways. The wood we're putting now is not a structure. It's just something to fasten into. That's right. And we're using the proper wood, which is blue wood. It's going to repel the insects to begin with anyway. Plus, the treatment from working on the outside, I'm Perfect. not worried about it. relying on you very heavily today, my friend. You got a lot to do. You've got baseboard, you have casing, you have doors to do today. You have built-ins to do today, okay? Perfect. He wants me to build two shelves. I'm basically building a rectangular box. Uh, and then I'll put it in, dry fit it, make sure it fits. Just need to shim it out, level it, and it's done. Yes, get to work. I am your father. <laughs> He's insane. Yeah, it looks perfect right there, Dave. Way it should be. Look at this. How are you? This is totally the way it should be. That's a lot better, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, I mean, before, it was, you barely got under it. It was right. a roof. What the hell was up there? Well, plus, they cut out a joist. I mean, the bathroom was going to fall in on them. So what do you think? This is nice. Look at this, eh? Day and night. Day and night. Yeah. What a difference. Very nice. Uh, this is very professional, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Let's get them, because okay. I think they're going to fall over. Well, you better. Good job. Thank you, man. Good job. Well, it's not the same house anymore. This isn't the same house. Wow. Come on downstairs. Oh, my goodness. 
No oh. way. My goodness. How long you been out of the house? Seven weeks. Seven weeks. Seven weeks. Are you happy to be home? So happy. And it's yeah. gorgeous. It was worth it. I'm going to have to tell you about price, because I have to. Okay. I want people to understand how much this could cost to solve all these problems. You're at about $150,000 worth of work. Wow. Now, you know why you were not allowed to be in the house? You had to go out. I wasn't trying to surprise you. This was ripped apart. It looked like a bomb had gone off. Right. You couldn't use the, the toilets, the, the sink. You didn't have any water. You didn't have any heat. We brought in Orkin. Orkin actually treated the property, which you're going to have to pay attention to. We're going to give you all this information to make sure you know when to call them back. All the wood is blue wood. What's blue wood? Termite resistant. And? OK, water resistant and mold resistant. OK, so now we've solved all the problems of termites getting in. This is great. Amazing. This here, we opened right up, and you have a new cinder block wall. We had to bench it. We had to form and pour a bench of structure and then cinder block off that, and it's right up to the steel right. beam. So you have an internal weeper, uh, so that's in the floors, plus a, a protection over top of that. You actually have not only brand new carpet, but a brand new floor. The whole floor was pulled up. There was no sense in trying to mess with it. It was the old floor, so you know, about an inch thick, staggered. And the floor looks even now. Well, let's just, you know wow. what concrete this is? Come on, we only use the best. What's the concrete? Agilia. Agilia, what's agilia? Wow. Self-leveling. Self yeah. Self yeah. Self yeah. 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 <laughs> all new plumbing in the floor, all new electrical. Everything's done to set for you now, right? You're never going to see that drain again, flood here. So if it looks beautiful on the outside, imagine what's beyond all this, because that's what we're all about, OK? Right. Bringing in the right people, the plumbers, the electricians, right down to the painters, finishing doors, windows, stairs, you name it, they've all been here. Let's go see the furnace room. So I'm no longer on my knees. I have proper Yes! Hand, <laughs> and we go in to the furnace room. Oh, my gosh. Well, this oh, wow. is, again, you can oh, see all the new pipes and all the work that's been done. You yeah. All plastic piping, we're on this. We love this stuff. It's a high-grade polyethylene. All right, enough of this. I want you two to see the bathroom. <gasps> oh, no! my God. Well, it's, it's oh, a bathroom. Oh, my gosh. This is beautiful. Wow. Hoo -hoo, underwear, I'm sorry. This is no longer the men's bathroom. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, they're fighting over it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Now, not only really wow. is everything mold resistant in here and properly done, oh waterproof, all the products that you see that we normally use, you even have a three liter flush toilet. And it works. Well, I'm happy. Are you happy? Oh, we're I'm more ecstatic. than happy. I'm ecstatic. Oh, my gosh. Let's go upstairs. I want to show you one more thing. Now, I said we put a closet upstairs. Yeah. Look at your closet. It's a water oh, closet. Why did you yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes! <laughs> oh, Mike, you're oh, awesome! Right. Now, what I like about this, wow. Kevin, it's got a urinal on the right and a toilet on the left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute, that's a sink. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mike, gosh. thank you so hey, much. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. Amazing. Wow. Kevin, Mike, thank you. Oh my gosh. I love helping good people. Yeah. Damon, oh my love God. Love helping good Damon. people. Damon. Oh, wow. thank, you. thank you very much. Oh, wow. Still in shock. Just thank you to Damon, Mike. The whole team. The whole crew. Amazing. Amazing. So happy. We were in complete shock with the <laughs> amount of work that Mike and his team did. Tape and oh stuff smelling. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take a handshake and hug the girls. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're hugging too much. Let's get some food. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs>